actually to almost all of us there are some painful moments that has happened into our lives maybe once or twice when we face the crucial times in adversity in pain in unfairness and extreme challenges we became bitter about it some gave up but only few blocked the fears projected the strength and faced the reality with the mindset to finish strong no matter what comes and so that's how baladna started baladna is a giant milk brand in the middle east that is popularly known because of its unbelievable survival story in the desert how is it that just a dairy farm can survive in the middle of the desert under extreme hot temperatures and end up making billions of revenue annually how did baladna manage to ship cattle from europe to qatar through the plain how did baladna rise from producing just milk and juice to expand greatly all over the region and internationally because if you have ever boarded the qatar airways probably you have tasted the milk brand of baladna even after the 2017 blockade baladna managed to survive because there is one thing for you you can't dominate the whole market and tell people the secrets that you're using reputation and success baladna have it both and this is the story of baladna milk company it all started as an idea of the two brothers Muthaz and Ramez al khayad born in 1983 and 1984 respectively their father Muhammad Raslan al khayat was already a wealthy contractor who was in charge of several large and complex construction projects in the region. This man did all he could to ensure his sons get the best education that money could afford. Since he wanted his son to follow his footsteps as a contractor. And later on, Ramez graduated with a honor degree in Bachelor of Arts in Global Business from the University of West of Scotland and was ready to enter into the workforce. Baladna was established in 2014. Years later, in 2017, there was a diplomatic crisis in the Middle East between Qatar and the five neighboring nations. This crisis led to the ban of Qatar registered planes and ships from utilizing their airspace, land, and sea routes. However, Balana had to channel its frustrations into actions, and these were the main questions. How can we start a milking farm just from nowhere in the middle of the desert with extreme temperatures, scorching heat, and no rains? How will the cattle even survive to produce milk that will satisfy the whole market that really needs it? Since those days, Qatar largely depended on imported food, so the blockade resulted to a shortage of food items in the country and because of this reason they had to come up with a solution and the solution was a tough one but the only option to escape into because you see in this world what you can win and what you can lose it's upon you actually this is what baladna knew then so the secret of baladna is hidden in its terrible story so as the solution to the blockade problem Balana decided to import the sauce instead of the products. Famously, don't give me the fish, show me how to fish. And in July 2017, 4,000 milking cows were airlifted by Balana from across Europe and the United States to Qatar. And by 11th the same month, the first cow was milked. Furthermore, later in October, the cows arrived at Balana farm. The construction and expansion of the farm were done in phases that were divided into three. And by February 2018, 45 barns were ready. Then later on, more cows were transported by sea. The Balana is capable to house 24,000 cows on its 2.4 million square meter facility, producing 450 tons of fresh milk and juice per day. But hold up a second. Let's turn to the next chapter to see how all this became possible. Balana continues to expand immensely to fill the gap in the market. 
One time their competitors tried to undercut milk prices by importing cheaper dairy products but Balatna remained oriented in their quality mission. Playing right loyalty cards, they are based customers and eventually in 2018 Balatna acquired a majority stake in Global Harvest, a Sudanese agricultural company to strengthen its chain. However, despite the COVID-19 crisis, Balatna remained resilient and maintained its focus on food security to its customer for once beaten twice shy. Most of the same year, Balatna introduced new product lines including ice creams, yogurts, cooking and wiping cream, flavored milk, mozzarella cheese, lumi, awafi, chilled juices. The brands Balatna co-owns are endless. You see, they are an empire that owns more food and beverages than you can even think or imagine. In 2020, Balana partnered with Qatar Airways to supply its dairy products to the airline passengers, taking the brand to a global audience. You may ask yourself, how do cattle survive under extreme hot environment? Balana has an answer. They use the latest technology that cools the cow sheds and keep the livestock comfortable and healthy in the scorching heat. In August 2021, they boosted the expansion, made a deal in Malaysia, and soon it's expanding to export products to the Philippines. This is after successful shipping to countries like Yemen, Iraq, Oman, and Afghanistan. Indeed, Baladna's story of success is a testament of dreaming big, having faith despite the opposition that you may face, making tough decisions while easy ones are still existing. Remember, you can use what you have to achieve what you want because we all have four valuable resources that we can use to get what we want. That are the brain, the time, the people, and most importantly, the willpower. Make up your mind, be determined and persistent, accept who you are, find a way to make your dream come true. If Balana has made it without rain or conducive environment, you also can do it. Today Balana is a leading player in Qatar food industry and Al Qayyad is among the philanthropists who supports the work of donation to the Qatar charity organization which helps in giving charities to some parts across the world. And to you, our viewer, thank you for watching till the end. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell below to be notified when we upload our next video. See you there, inshallah.